Our uh, first guest is an enormously popular... <laughs> Enormously popular radio personality here in New York, where he can be heard every morning on uh, K Rock WXRK Radio. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Howard Stern. Friday night because you get to wear sneakers. Yeah, that's, that's right. Good. I like that. What have you been but doing lately? Well, you haven't had me on in a while. Because, well, we had you uh, on. When was the last time no, you were I know what happened. You had somebody booked for the show. Somebody canceled. Who was it? Art Rooney canceled for the show last minute? We had no one else booked. Did we, Morton? I want to, uh, I want to apologize Howard to Stern, Pittsburgh. Howard Stern was the only person booked for tonight's uh, I program. I want to apologize to Pittsburgh, if I may, Dave. Why is that? I saw your apology of the night. You shouldn't apologize for anything. It was only a joke. Nobody has a sense of humor anymore. What's the deal hiring Bob Costas? Now, you had something to do with that? I had you, nothing to do with you hiring recommended Bob. Him no, I, he already worked for the network. I had nothing to do with that. I mean, I've seen the show. It's the Linda Ellaby interview. All right. It was unbelievable. It was so great. Uh, the opening act of Linda Ellaby, as she whined about, what is it, the network killed Jessica Savage? I what kind of thing? How they let her on and say that, the network killed Jessica Savage? You can't say that kind of thing. It's pretty outrageous. Howard, is it just me, or are you getting more hair? Yeah, I'm getting more hair. <laughs> I'm growing more and more hair. It's my new look. I figure it'll eventually cover my face. <laughs> so you're on Hollywood Squares. Was that fun? That's right. Yeah, I did Hollywood Squares. That was the worst. I guess it was the worst day of my life. Really? Taping all five episodes. Yeah. How long ago did you do it? I went out there. I flew out on a Sunday. Right. Oh, just like two months ago. They like to tape in advance because, uh, after all, that show doesn't need to be topical. They don't ask you too many searing questions. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a pretty strange experience. I'll never do it again. You had no fun at all? Well, I filled in for Shadow Stevens. He's the announcer on the show. Yeah, I went yeah. out. I went to California. I right. fly out there, and Shadow Stevens is like the sex symbol of the show. Mm -hmm. So out there, nobody knows who I am. I go, and they say, now the announcer filling in for Shadow Stevens is Howard Stern. I right. walk out, and this is what they see. Yeah. This is like, you know. <laughs> in the audience, you know, the women are expecting some kind of beefcake to walk yeah. out. <laughs> you know, this kind of thing. Then they sit me in the booth. I was in Shadow Square, right. and I hardly get called on, of course, sure. because nobody wants to call me. They don't know who I am, and I'm uglier than Shadow. <laughs> so, uh... They might have just been frightened by your hair. Yeah, I don't know what they were... The but, amount of your hair. Yeah, but the worst part of it is, I'm sitting next to the black guy from Police Academy, whose name I still don't know. I, underneath the square is the black guy from Police Academy. <laughs> <laughs> so he starts in, they call on him, and he starts with the, the mouth sound. Mm -hmm. Oh, he whole, makes the sound effects. Yeah, his stick is... Michael makes, Winslow. Yeah, he's got a, Michael Winslow. Michael Winslow. The black guy from Police Academy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So I'm sitting next to him. He's sitting next to me in the square there, and he's uh, it's real. He starts doing the sound effects, yeah. which is okay. I mean, that's very nice. He, goes, he starts yeah. spitting in your face, man. I'm like covered in spit. It's like, it's like my square is covered in spit. My hair is matted down. I don't want to sit next to the black guy from Police Academy while he's spitting on me. Yeah. Oh. And he's real annoying. I mean, every minute he's spitting all over, yeah. and he's doing the sound effects. Totally distracting. Well, that's his I'm, career. Those yeah, noises. And the other side of me is Dr. Joy's brother, who uh, doesn't brothers. know his brothers, whatever, yeah. doesn't know a thing. A shadow, shadow, shadow. This is her thing, and she's up there. And Jim J. Bullock. She keeps calling you shadow? She calls me shadow. Yeah, she she hasn't figured out that I'm not shadow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Jim J. Bullock, of course, big star of the show. All right. Uh, they give him all the uh, best material. They write out all the jokes for you, and right. I refuse Those to... aren't ad libs that the people come up with there? No, they're not ad libs. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not ad libs. It's all written for you. Mm -hmm. They wrote out some jokes for me, and then and half the stuff they told me they didn't cut out that I said. Yeah, did you say something that really irritated them? As a matter of fact, I did, Dave. It's very funny to bring that up. I said, uh, I forget what the question was, but they were asking me about Mayor Koch. Who, which mayor gets uh, paid the most money? So I said, I, don't, I have no idea who gets paid the most money. I could care less. I don't really care. I just said, I said, I think that whoever gets, I don't know if he gets paid the most money. I don't know what Mayor Koch makes for a living, but I would assume he has saved a lot of money because he doesn't go on dates. So the guy says to me afterwards that, well, you can't say that about the mayor. I said, well, it's a known fact. They said the only person he ever dated is, uh, is uh, an alleged felon. <laughs> Miss America. Am I Best, correct? Best Meyerson? Best Meyerson. I didn't know that they dated. Did they date? Well, they, they posed as they were dating. Yeah. Wasn't that the case? I don't They know. posed like they were dating. I said, but, you know, I don't think that's good because she might be going to prison and you don't want the mayor going out with a convict. <laughs> So the, evidently they didn't like this yeah. material. So that, that, that was a very strong material. This will probably now, now when, you, when you said that, did it get a laugh from the audience there? No, they wanted to lynch me. They wanted uh -huh. to tie me up. <laughs> but you like that, don't you? 
Yeah, I didn't care. I don't care. Who you, cares? You'd rather annoy people than amuse them, wouldn't you? Yes, Dave, I like to annoy people. That's correct. <laughs> well, I was trying to amuse them. I thought it'd be kind well, of Well, no, I understand that. But you'll, I mean, you'll take anything you can get. Take what I yeah, get. That's yeah. right, Dave. Uh, okay, we'll do a commercial here, and we'll be back with uh, Howard Stern. <laughs> Suit being prepared there for marshmallows. Um, You're really going to do that, huh? Oh, yeah. And hey, what's this about uh, Burt Reynolds and Lonnie Anderson getting a baby? I don't know. I, a, they white, had, a white baby. They got baby. married and uh, she's pregnant? How does Burt and Lonnie get a white baby? I don't How know. does that happen? I mean, in other words, now I know... Now, you're saying they're adopting a child? They're adopting a child. Oh, I didn't realize that. Lonnie evidently is in... I guess I don't know I what don't the know. problem is there, Dave. Do you? No, I don't know. I don't I'm reading this in the papers and I said... Uh, this doesn't make sense to me. I read that he, what did he do, knock around Judy Carn a little bit? I don't know, Howard. Guy, I don't... Guy was losing his hair, Dave. Yeah. And I look, and he went in front of somebody. It's an adoption agency. And they yeah. said, well, okay, that was a mistake. Guy lost his, guy got a little out of line, lost his hair, smacked him around. And he gets right to the front of the line with the white baby? I, How I, does that whole thing I work, don't know, Dave? I don't know. That's, you know, that's not my department. I don't know, Howard. Sally Strug has been online for a white baby for like 30 years, hasn't she? <laughs> All the babies I see her with have flies around their head. I, uh... uh circling constantly. Uh, um, I love it here. I love it. It's like a... Thank you. Hey, I'm Thank kidding. you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... This is like Hollywood Squares. What? <laughs> Same the reaction What, what about the, anything that catch your interest with the presidential campaign heating up here? Oh, not really. I wrote a quail joke. Yeah? Uh, I, I've been working on a quail joke. Yeah. Um, what's, uh... What are John... Uh, excuse me. What does Yoko and quail have in common? Yoko Ono and Dan Quayle have in common. They're both yellow. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, you want to figure oh. it out? <laughs> See, I ruined it. No, you no. stepped on it. I was just going to say Howard Stern's turn into block yes, is what exactly. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Both Four. yellow and live off large inheritances. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, why don't we show the videotape? All right, right? let's talk about the videotape. This yeah, is no. uh, this is Howard Stern's uh, negligee and under underpants party. Dave, what happened here is there was a, a big pay-per-view event. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and and some of the guests, Meryl yeah. Streep, Henry Kissinger. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Now this is a great thing. I have a special phone number, Dave, that I'd like to give out now <laughs> to people to order their this underpants. This was a pay-per-view show last winter. Last winter, we yeah. put on a big pay-per-view event with lesbian dial a you know, know, Dave, you sure. enjoy that, yeah. I know that. Yeah. Uh, Kurt Boldheim, Jr., All right. a man lights his fiery Okay, genitals. that's, a, that's a, all right. All right, okay. Well, well, you get the idea, I right? get the idea. It was a big so party. now you can have it in your home again. Right. For how much? I don't know the exact price, <laughs> Dave, but Judy, the operator, is standing by. Uh -huh. So and, you uh, call the toll-free number and... 1-800-52-STERN. Okay. Right, Dave, for, don't be turned off by commercial. No, no, we, have to, we have to go here. We have to go here. 1-800-52-STERN, ladies and gentlemen. Have, have, a, have a good labor day, Thanks for being here.